Hello friends, today we will learn about structure. A structure is generally used to see how your population is clustered. So for that we have to first see the file format which the structure software takes in. Uh, I have already copied the file, I will just show it. Mm. So this is the type of and this is the actual sheet that um, the structure software takes in and we have to prepare the files like this m1 m2 m3 m4 like that these are the number of individuals here total number of individuals are 54 and these are the different markers used you can have different types of markers here but it should be mm, numbered accordingly like one two three four till total number of primers you have we have uh, 276 number of bands given by the primer so these are done these are the one and it is it has to be uh, in uh, transposed way so this file you have to save it in uh, other format then you have to save it in um, text tab delimited form so I have already saved it and it looks like this this is the file that will that will be in, that will go in into the structure so so what we will do is we will just open the structure software now First of all, we have to go to new project, file, then new project, then name the project since we are doing um, a Magnolia uh, variation studies. So we will give the file name Magnolia. We will put in the directory where it will be saved. The results will be saved. Browse is in the desktop in the instructor tutorial you just select it then uh, we will choose the data file that we have already created the input data file so we will go browse and then so we will go to structure tutorial this is the input data structure input select we will go next number of individuals we had were 54 then ploy ID number we have to change it one to one because we are doing dominant markers number of loci will be total number of bands that we have found and we can see from that that we have 276 number of bands missing mm. data value will we'll just put minus 9 We will go next, then we have to take row marker names, then again next, with individual ID for each individual, then we'll finish. It will show the confirmation in the confirmation dialog box. We will just click proceed, and if everything goes correct, then the file, the result will be uploaded like this. So now, what we will do is we will go to parameter set and we will go to new we will have to put the length of burning period uh, for this what we will do is we will put 10,000 number of MC MC rep reputation after burning will also be 10,000 you can put less burning period and uh, reps also but for our study we, we are going for 10,000 so we'll put we'll go ok we have to give a parameter set name since we are doing it any any name you can give but since we are doing it in April maybe we will go Magnolia April so ok we'll go 
so the parameter set has been done it will show the, this dialog box will show now we will go to project and we will do start project start a job so here we will have to select the project that we want to start and we have to set a k value k value is uh, the uh, number of clusters that you are predicting to have so on the safe side it's better to give from 1 to 10 and we have to put iterations iterations are repetitions um, the software will run in repeat mode and for the safety purpose we are giving three repetitions so we'll start the project now just click start now the project has been started and after and we have to wait and after a few minutes like 10 to 15 minutes your job will be done so let it run for some time after the job has been completed then there will be so many results that you will get in here and you can check it individually suppose for k equal to 5 you can see the bar plot and everything but to find out which k you have to take you have to upload the results to structure harvester in google and then you have to select the highest k value only so the results will be saved in the file that you have already in the directory that you have already created previously so the structure tutorial was the directory that we have created and we we, we can see that the results have been uh, created here so what you do with the result is you zip the results compress the result in a gif folder and this is the result to since we i have already mm, run once so i for just this for the sake of showing you i'm giving this to result 2 it has been created and now this gif file will only be uploaded in the structure harvester in google so you press you go to structure harvester and choose your file so this was uh, this was the file um, we'll go and select the file from the structure tutorial for the result to then we'll go open then harvest so this is the results and from here we can see that the highest value of k was picked at cluster 3 so from here we, we in, from here this is the pdf you can save the pdf from here and from this pdf we can say that three clusters were the best result found from the structure software and so we again go to the clustering cluster results and we select uh, have all the results containing k equal to 3 so 1 2 and 3 results are there having k equal to 3 so we select each result and go to bar plot and we say we click show then we go to plot in multiple lines and these is these are the results so this file you can save it as jpeg to your preferred location thank you so much